What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Dealer Auto Auction here in Oklahoma City. We're gonna jump into this video today and see what we can find. If you're tired of trucks, let me know. But here we got a 2022 Ram 3500 heavy duty, 77,000 miles, Cummins, of course. You got the dual rear wheel, you got the long bed. Hell, it looks like it's even got a lightning rod sticking out of the top of it for storm chasing. That's what this would be perfect for. Actually, it wouldn't. It's too big, it's too heavy. <laughs> You don't want something this massive uh, unless you're in the Dominator 3. That's that's a little different. Tires don't match. Completely different right there. Such low miles too, man. What a, what a nice truck. It's going to need a set of tires though. I would put a full set of matching tires on it just to be safe. A little bit of damage to the front here. The grill got busted. Not a big deal. Bumper looks to be in good shape. Everything else looks pretty good. Let's take a peek in the bed. Oh, yeah, she was made to work. And the big one, how does it smell? Oh, yeah. Mm. It's, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. You can see the stains in the seats. Who knows what all that is. It, it's pretty bad, guys. Uh, definitely not as bad, though is that one over there this one is at least somewhat bearable it's not too shabby in here it's got the bigger screen than mine has which is decent it's got same miles as mine's got i don't know what's going on with that obd2 port right there but wouldn't hurt to pop the hood real quick she's got power you got this big cable running across here it must have had a cb yeah it must have had a cb radio you got the old school manual 4x4 right there. Some people like that. I don't know. I like the push button personally. Let's uh, see what it does. Oh, yeah. She fired right up. Not an issue. Not an issue. Looks like somebody let one rip right there, don't it? Good Lord. These things just, uh, the interiors and the bodies don't get taken care of at all. Important window, yes. Less important window. It's nice that it's got a screen. Let's turn on that air conditioner here and get that going. The AC and heat in these things is just, it's not very good, guys. That's one thing I, I got to complain about when it comes to the Rams. I love my Rams, but the diesels, you just don't get, you don't get very much blowing out of the air conditioner and the heater. It's kind of disappointing, but, you know, it is what it is. Diesel problems, right? We got a uh, check engine light on the screen there, so that's nice. Yeah, and TPMS sensors are having a conniption fit as well. Is that all the way up? Yeah, see, that's just like my RAM. This is on max, guys. All Max AC all the way up here. And let me put you in front of the vent. Do you hear that? I'm putting the, the mic right by the vent. Barely anything, man. And that's just, and yes, the vent's turned on it's it's just the way these things are if you're if you're hot it's gonna take you a while to cool off in one of these man tow mirrors are out there's no cracks in the windshield headliner looks good you got your trailer brake controller here tow haul mode uh i forgot exhaust brake i should know what that is i knew what that was i just forgot for a minute there you go exhaust brake that's important i've used that a million times carrying loads through the mountains and stuff that really really helps and from what I was told, it helps keep your turbo vanes clean by uh, reversing the flow and blowing the carbon off of the turbo vanes. So I don't know if that's true or not, but it makes sense to me. She sounds good. Brakes feel good. Everything's nice. Let's take a peek under the hood real quick. Take a look at that, that big old Cummins under there. Oh, she's idling up. Sounds like she's going into reach in. All right, let's take a look. full of air there that had to sound horrible yep well she runs like a Cummins she sounds good I like it but do I really need another truck no no I really don't need another truck next we got a 2010 BMW 750xi and I know better but I might do it anyway 108,000 miles on the odometer 
This thing is worth the uh, wholesale right around fifty two hundred dollars. This is something I'd absolutely be willing to take a risk on. It's got Bridgestone Potenzas all the way around. This may be an Li. It is. That's right. Those back doors are huge. This is a. Uh, this is nice. This is a really nice car. It says needs gas. 108,000 miles, no kidding. Body looks good, tires all match, paint looks good, glass looks good. This is not bad. Now, 2010, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't this prior to the twin turbo, the uh, the 4.4 liter twin turbo? This has the, uh, the naturally aspirated. I could be wrong, but I think that, uh, that N63 didn't come out till, oh hell, maybe it did. Maybe it came out in 08. If that's the case, and this is one of the N63s you probably want to avoid. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's an early, an early N63. These things were notorious for uh, being very problematic, very expensive. Joy, this is uh, this is one I definitely need. Let's take a look at the interior real quick. Up, oh, it's locked. It's got the soft closed doors though, and it works. Look, look at this. Pulls the doors closed, so we know she's got power. Is there an unlock button here somewhere? No? No? It's going to be where? Well, I don't know where the unlock button is. All I know is that it's not easily accessible by me. Oh, she's heavy. You can feel... Ooh. Uh, okay. We're gonna get out of that. We don't need to worry about profiles. We'll go to uh, Carly Wood. Are you sure you wanna change the profile? Okay, sure. There we go. Let's get out of the profile modes. Satellite radio's on. Do we have any warning lights? Are you kidding? No warning? Oh, dude. What is back there? I just got all over my fingers. Oh man, what is that? Oh wow, that's gross. All right, so she's completely out of gas, which means we probably can't drive this very far. I'd like to take it to the track. Range is zero miles. Air conditioning. Let's just turn it on auto and let's turn it on 70. There we go. Air conditioning's already nice and cold. Well, I don't know what that is all over my hands, but that feels, that feels awful. Comfort mode, sport mode, very nice. So this is worth like 5,200 bucks wholesale. Hell, I could do that. I'd consider doing 52 on this. Let's close that shade real quick. It smells like leather in here. I, it's hard to explain, but only like old Mercedes and BMWs have this smell, man. Uh, you know it when you smell it. There we go. All right. Let's change the tilt on this steering wheel a little bit. I do want to drive this though. You got an extra key fob right here? No? That's the key fob the key is right there this is probably a bad idea everybody knows that these engines are absolutely horrible the mercedes is superior i think in every way to this vehicle steering feels good windows important window works nice tinted windows that window works as well glove box you got a cd changer there glove box there with the books and an Apple adapter. Let's put it in gear. Backup camera. You got front sensors. All very nice. Very nice. We know the radio works. And I can't believe this, but there's no warning lights on the dash other than low fuel. That's it. Well, let's back her up. We're going to drive her around real quick just to make sure it's something I want to bid on, but currently I see no oil leaks. 
I'm looking at the ground up there where the car was parked. Nothing. No leaks at all. We won't go to the track. It's too far and this thing's got no gas. But we will bring it back here and put it right back in its parking spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. And I'm just going to give her a little gas. Going by this fence here. There we go. Just give her a little... Oh yeah. Yeah, she's got juice. She get up and go, guys, without a doubt. The suspension feels nice. Yeah, yeah, safety belts. I know, I know, I know, I know. We're going to put it back. It's out of gas. It wants me to put my seatbelt on. I'm not going to put my seatbelt on. This thing rides super, super smooth, guys. I'm not even lying. Let's bring her back. Put her back in her parking spot. I like this one. I do. I like this one, and I think we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and pop the hood, listen to it run real quick, and uh, I'm putting this on my list. I think I want this one. All right. I think I got the doors unlocked. Let's take a peek in the back. Look how much room this thing has in it. You've got. Oh, look at this leg room. Are you kidding me? You got your own climate control settings back here. Turn those to cold. Wow. Little ashtray. Privacy shades. Oh, dude. It's on. Yeah. You got your little, little mirror there. For 2010, this thing's pretty nice, guys. This thing is pretty nice. I like this. And I want it. I'm gonna look under it real quick. Just make sure she's not puking anything out the bottom. Let me get you guys on a different mode here. Let's take a look underneath. I don't see anything leaking. I thought I popped that hood. Let's try it again. There we go. All right. I just opened this a minute ago. Why am I having such a hard time now? I don't see anything smoking. The engine sounds healthy. All right. Oh, I like this, guys. Definitely want to run a Carfax report on this one, too. I'm very, very serious about this one. We have a full-size spare under here? No, we do not. No spare at all. Look at that trunk space, though. That's wild, guys. All right. This... This might just be the one. Let's turn all that off. What do you think? This is one that I really, really want. So you guys might remember this. The 2021 X7 is still here. Man, Monkey Wrench Mike and I both fell in love with this thing. Uh, still think I prefer the X3 and the X5 we had looked at. They're probably gone now. I really wanted the, uh, the, X, the X3. The X5 was an M540i, if I remember correctly. That sucker got it. That sucker got it. But the uh, price tag on that was just a little too much for me. There's that Escalade right on those like 26s. Absolutely insane. I'm not interested in that one, guys. And we've already looked at this one before. There's an F-150. There's a Hyundai. Ooh. A lot of people don't like these. I actually really, really love these little Range Rovers. It's missing the tags. I don't know what happened. Maybe they're getting ready to put new stickers on it, but this is the uh, Range Rover Evoque. It's a tiny little thing. I kind of like that green color though, man. Really high metallic green. She's kind of slick. The tire's decent. Scuffed up over here.
Not bad. Some bumps and bruises. Interesting color combination on that interior. That's that's different. All right. Okay. Well, hey, we'll check it out real quick. I'm not I'm not all that interested in this one. Eighty four thousand miles. She got any warning lights on? Of course, it's going to. It's a Range Rover. Check engine, of course. I don't know. It's it's something. Let's put it in gear. Oh, it's hot. That's what it is. Boy, it is hot inside this thing. Oh. She got the e-brake on. There we go. Boy, she's squeaky. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. No. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. But no, no thank you. Where's the push to start? Let's go ahead and shut that off. Air conditioning came on, no? No, I think I'm gonna avoid this one, guys. Yeah, we're good. I do see something else I'd like to look at, though, so let's move on to that. How about a 2012 Infiniti G37? Is this an X? This could be the all-wheel drive. I don't know, she's, she's actually kind of slick looking. There's body damage all over the place, bumpers coming off. You got the titanium tip, burnt titanium tip mufflers. Someone's taking the badging off. The tires are the wrong size. Flat tire on the front. All the typical race car mod stuff. Front fender is all kinds of tore up. The gaps are, uh, you know, less than ideal. The hood sticks up on this side and it's closed. So that's good. But you do have this uh, fancy Hoonigan sticker. So that makes it all worthwhile right there, I suppose. Uh, by now, you guys should know that I'm absolutely joking. I'm not. Woo, that's hot. Wow. Yeah, I have no interest in this car. None. Um, not even to drive it. None. Seats ripped. She's rough. She's lived a hard life, guys. I don't even want to sit in it at this point. Oh, wow. The uh, steering column's all broken apart. That's nice. There's your tilt switch right there so somebody's been up in there for something dashboard is cracked chewed up broken all over the place oh she's dead she's dead somebody put a uh, one of those aftermarket android screens and you can see what they did they just pried along the edges and they broke all of it very very professional job there let's see if we can pop the hood probably not i'm gonna say she's stuck I'll bet this thing rides, there we go, like a dream. Oh yeah, there you go, some uh, some aftermarket uh, eBay cold air intakes there. That's that's the ticket right there, guys. No, I'm, I'm kidding, this, this is, wow, this is bad. It's really bad, but the thumbnail was cool. Does anybody recognize this? little Volkswagen Passat TDI was in a previous video because it was already in a video I'm not going to show it in this one other than just walking around it I didn't know this thing was still here for sale I missed the auction and I'm really upset with myself because I really wanted this um, really really cheap these things get really good miles per gallon and this one is in pretty good shape it's very very clean on the inside and outside guys look at that like I said I'm not going to waste your time with it but uh, this is one that I'm absolutely going to be keeping my eye on for, uh, for this week's auction, as well as that white BMW we looked at earlier. I know not everybody's into these Jeeps, but this one was sitting here last week, and it's still sitting here. So I figure I'll at least take a look at it real quick. Doesn't hurt. It's got the jack up on the hood and everything. Of course, big wheels, big tires. Not lifted too much, though. It's got nice aftermarket fender flares, nice aftermarket wheel liners as well. Fender liners, I should say. This is nice. You got your aftermarket bumper. You got uh, is it one jerry can in the back. I've actually got some of these at home. These are really good jerry cans. Mine's got the metal up top though instead of the plastic. Um, that sucker's on there too. Same size spare tire, trailer hitch on the back. Convertible top looks to be in good shape with tinted windows. Tires are good. 
body looks good. I'm surprised it didn't have any little running boards or something. Smell. It smells like a fire. That's different. You got the old school crank windows. That's the way a Jeep should be, man. It's manual transmission, too. Yeah, she's got no options. None. Well, you got some of this stuff here. Light bar stuff, I guess. Lots of... I probably shouldn't push buttons. I don't know what they do. You know what I mean? How many miles this thing's got on it? 35,000. 35,000 on 2016? Are you sure? It's going to have the... Uh, I'm sure it's got the 3.6 Pentastar in it. Can we open this hood? We're going to try. I'm just curious to see what she's got in her. Of course, you got the big old worn, worn winch. Doesn't say how many pounds it is, but... Yeah, it does. Hold on. Worn winch, blah, blah, blah. No. It's an XD9000i, so I'm going to assume, you know, lucky guess. I'm going to say it's a 9,000-pound winch, right? Let's see if we can... Uh... <sighs> Come on. There we go. Be very careful with that jack. I don't want to dent anything, but... Optima red top battery. Somebody's taking the accessories off. Must have light bars and stuff. It's the 3.6. We'll go ahead and bolt this back up. Low mileage. Really low mileage. That's pretty impressive, guys. I would have never thought. I mean, it says on the window. I guess I just overlooked it. Or I'm delirious from the heat because it is hot out here, guys. It's, it's very hot out here. And when you spend hours out here filming, you start losing it a little bit. All right. Clutch feels good. It's in neutral. E brake is on. Got an extra key right there as well. Very nice. Oh, you know what we got to try? Air conditioning. Let's try that AC out. Oh, wow. That was quick. AC came right to life. Oh, that is some amazing air conditioning. We got a brake light flash. Let's see if we turn the E brake off. Does that go away? Yeah. No warning lights on the dash. None. Let's check the clutch out real quick. I'm going to leave the e-brake on. Just see if it pulls. Oh, yeah. Fifth gear. Yeah, tries to saw. Perfect. It's got a good clutch. Interior is actually pretty dang nice, guys. This is not a bad Jeep. I really don't need another one, but I wouldn't be opposed to having one of these. I'm going to have to make this video a short one, guys, because I'm running out of juice on my phone, and I don't have a charger with me, so... I've got to get out of here, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and let me know and consider subscribing to the channel. I truly appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.